Hey guys, just got some good training in today in my new Origin The Path Nano Pearl Weave D. Um, <clears throat> they've been marketing it hard over the last couple of months, their big release of it. They did a good enough job that they got me to buy it. And uh, I've been using it all week, so I'm going to tell you guys what I think about it and if it's worth it for you to go out and pay the premium dollars for this gi. Hey guys, I'm Marty, and I'm back for another video to talk to you about a new gi that just dropped by Origin. It's called the Path Nano Weave Gi that they just came out with, and uh, I picked it up. Like I said in my intro, they've been doing a, a ton of marketing on it, a lot of hype around it, and um, <clears throat> it worked on me, so I went out and uh, and I bought it. It's a lot of money uh, for this gi that they charge. Um, they're the reasoning behind it is that it's uh, premium quality stuff and uh, going to last you for a long time. So I'm going to get into uh, talking to you about what I think about um, this gi uh, that I've been using for the last week. I'm also a first time Origin gi owner. So they do some stuff that's totally unique to Origin. Um, and honestly, some stuff that uh, I thought was just categorically wrong when it comes to gi design. So that made me hesitate for a long time in buying a gi, and um, after having worn it for a week, it's really changed my opinion. Um, so I'll start first with uh, the pants. And uh, I'm going to tell you honestly, the pants are like a, a love-hate thing for me. They're not cut in the fitted kind of tapered cut that you see in a lot of gis these days, like shoulder roll made really popular. A lot of other companies um, go with that fitted uh, pant look. These are pretty big on me. I'll, I'll stick some pictures of uh, me and the gi in here so that you guys can take a look at, uh, at how this looks. Again, it's not a fitted athletic cut. Um, the name Origin, when I think about it, I haven't seen any branding. I haven't seen them talking about it. It comes off to me like they're trying to go to the origin of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, of the gi with the fit, so it's not supposed to be athletic. Uh, it's not supposed to be tapered, and um, that's why they're going going with that direction. <clears throat> I've seen some reviews. I've read some stuff that the the pants are um, kind of an issue for some people because they're just kind of baggy on your legs. Now, I'm a short guy. I'm only 5'6", uh, so that might be the reason that that's the case for me. I have another buddy uh, who's you know 6'1", that, um, that has an origin gi. It looks great on them. It's a different, uh, it's a different material. It's a different version of an origin gi. A little bit older, so maybe you know they, they just took a different style direction with it. One of the other things that I noticed, so so there's that, which is to me not a not a huge deal. Um, I, I I can get over that stuff pretty quickly. As you can see, I went with the white colorway. Um, I've just been on a white gi kick for the last year. Uh, kind of bringing me back to the uh, the roots of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And um, <clears throat> the material's great. It's not necessarily like ripstop, but it is kind of ripstop. I don't know how to describe that. Uh, feels nice. Uh, it's light. It's tough. And, uh, you know, they have their signature uh, belt mechanism here. And I've been seeing this for a while. I've seen other guys use this, use this for a while. And um, I'll tell you, I just had a negative reaction when I saw this on these geese. So I was just thinking to myself, man, if I go to north-south on a guy or a guy goes north-south on me and this, you know, rakes across my face, I'm going to be pissed. But um, I got to admit, as a guy who is constantly retying my pants back on throughout the class, like all the time, I'm constantly retying my pants. Um, it is really nice to one, have a pair of pants that's fitted to your waist size. So that's another unique thing to origin. And then two, have a belt for the extra security. And at least this week and all the guys that I've been rolling with, and I've rolled a lot this week, I rolled four times this week. Uh, no one has noticed, and I've only used this gi this week. No one has complained about that as an issue. Um, so it doesn't appear to be that big of a deal. So funny. I was like, 
thinking to myself that Origin really was lazy in their design development of this to put something like this on their gi, and I was totally wrong. So uh, I'll admit that here and now. Uh, this is this is a pretty cool innovation that they that they came up with. I imagine some other people uh, think the same about these uh, these buckles on the belt, but uh, they work. They work great. The fact that they fit to your waist size, another brilliant uh, idea that these came, these guys came up with. So super happy with it. Not stoked about the fit of the pants, but uh, stoked about the quality of the pants. And um, a lot of people, a lot of reviews that I've read talk about how quickly the pants and the gi dry. And it's true. Like when I pulled them out of the washer, they're nearly dry already. Um, and I double rinse and double spin um, my gis when I, when I get back from training. It's just a, a weird kind of phobia that I have. So anyways, that's the pants. Um, <clears throat> you know, not, a, not very exciting, but um, some innovations in there that make it, um, make them, you know, seriously special and unique and um, solve problems for a guy like me who is in almost every gi that I have. Yeah, like almost every gi that I have, I'm walking around tying my pants back up throughout the class. Uh, that has not been an issue with, with these, and, and that's pretty sweet. Um, so I'll admit that here and now. Uh, to the jacket. <clears throat> First impressions of the jacket, to be honest with you, it's less substantial than a lot of the gis that I own. And when I say less, less substantial, um, in my mind when I was thinking about that, I felt like the word cheap was coming to my mind, but it's not cheap. It's, it's the opposite. So you, you have this weird conflicting thing going on when you handle this gi. It's super light. Um, it's really comfortable. And I, <clears throat> my experiences, my first experiences with Origin Gi were rolling with guys that had Origin Gis. And, um, <clears throat> and thinking to myself when I'm getting cross-faced or something like that, like, oh wow, that's actually, <laughs> you know, like that's not that bad when uh, I have this gi, um, you know, getting me, uh, putting me in uncomfortable positions. Um, <clears throat> and it's true, it's a super comfortable gi. The material on the outside um, is pretty nice. It's almost um, got a soft, like, kind of an oily, but not oily um, kind of feel to it. They've, it's got all that signature stitching across it uh, that you guys can see. That's very common amongst the origin gis uh, that you see around your school. Uh, on the inside, that's where they really made um, some innovation here. It's very, very soft on the inside. Across the shoulders, they have the same material, or at least feels like the same material as they have on the pants across your shoulders. And um, so that feels good. And um, <clears throat> their style or their, their sizing chart seems to be a little... Uh, it's definitely different. It's bucking the trend in jujitsu gis these days. Like it's common for me to go to a dojo uh, these days and see a, a jujitsu gi that looks like a little tiny jacket on a guy where his belt is barely holding, you know, the gi down. There's just a tiny bit of material below the belt of the gi. That's not the case with this. Um, on this gi at the bottom, for me, my belt is like up here. Um, so there's a lot of material that uh, hangs underneath the gi for me. Um, the arms <clears throat> are unfortunately a little bit long. Again, I'll put in some uh, B-roll and some pictures of uh, what the gi actually looks like on me. Um, that bums me out a little bit. <clears throat> um, one of the double-edged swords of, of owning this gi that I found is that I've, I bought it and I put it on the first day that I got it. Um, I don't think I had pictures of the first day that I got it. Unfortunately, but I figured, oh, the sleeves are a little bit long, but you know what? I'm going to wash it and it's going to shrink and it's probably going to be perfect. It did not shrink. Uh, these gis do not shrink, or at least if they do shrink, it's so minimal that I haven't been able to know. So there might be some alterations. I might have to take it to get altered because the sleeves are just a tad bit too long on me. I can deal with it. Um, and actually today... I spent a little bit time, a little bit of time, uh, looking at the gis of guys that I train with, <clears throat> and I noticed that their gis on them, even taller guys, um, guys who are you know six foot, a little bit over six foot, the the sleeve comes down 
you know, to about that first knuckle of the thumb, where I'd like it more, you know, down in this area. So it seems to be common. <clears throat> and, um, you know, they, they talk about being able to move inside the gi, um, so it's not as restrictive. I think that might be why they, um, I, this is an A2, um, so you guys can see medium A2. According to these guys, I've never been an A2 in any other gi. In Shoulder Roll and Hayabusa and Corral and Vulcan, I've always been an A1, so this is the first time I've owned an A2 gi in any brand. Uh, but it fits me fine. It, it fits me fine. It's definitely a wrap style. Um, I have other gis like my Hayabusa gis that I like a lot and my, my Shoulder Roll gis uh, that I like a lot <clears throat> that, um, you know, are just barely held down by my belt, um, you know, to cross my body. That's not the case at all with this gi. Um, but back to my original point, <clears throat> it feels less substantial because it's so much lighter. Um, and it gives you the impression that over time, you know, the amount of wear and tear that you're going to put on it is going to beat it up a little bit more. Um, I have geese that I've owned for over 10 years, uh, where the gi jacket, you know, is still great, but, uh, you know, it's got the fraying, um, in here and they're much more, um, heavier duty than, than this. So it'll be really interesting to see, uh, what the test of time does to this gi, because again, it, it's just not as heavy duty as a lot of the geese, um, that I already own. That's, that's in terms of the amount of material, the thickness of the material, the feel of the material. It's very highly engineered with all of the stitching that you can see on here. Um, the way that they do it, <clears throat> you can see the sophistication as you look around the gi to see how they, they handle it even in the sleeves, uh, the way that they stitch it in here. Again, very sophisticated. Um, so it just kind of turns your impression of quality and value in a gi kind of on its head, but it feels great. Especially when I put a rash guard on, it feels great. I feel like locked in, it's wrapped around me. Um, I feel good, fits me great, feels nice and light. Um, <clears throat> would I wear it to a tournament? I don't know that I would um, because the sleeves are a little bit too long and there's a little bit more material on me, extra material on me than, uh, like I have that in every gi, I think everybody has that. Um, this is just a little bit more than some of those, I think. And um, if I'm gonna get on the mats with a judo guy, I don't wanna give him extra stuff to grab onto so that he can throw me around. But, uh, but I love it. <clears throat> and I love the idea um, that I can use this as an everyday driver, um, where with other geese, um, you know, I feel like I need to rotate them so they don't get as much mileage. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how uh, time treats this gi. Um, it's white, so you know it's going to get dingy. Uh, this is, again, just a week into it, so it's holding up nice. Um, again, I get home, I wash my geese on double rinse, double spin. Um, I put this in in high, um, high heat water and high heat dry, no shrinkage. Um, pretty exciting that that's the case, that I don't have to worry about that because I think literally every other gi that I own is an issue for me there. So that's it, guys. The Origin Gi, the Path um, Nano Weave, which is their new weave, their new pearl weave uh, technology. Feels good, super light, um, super tough. I am seeing, uh, actually for the first time, you're seeing it now in this review, that there's some extra kind of stitching. Uh, looks like it's not getting focused in there. Um, that's coming out here. I might need to take a lighter to that to burn those off. But um, that's kind of the first visual defect I'm noticing. Um, looks like it's on this other side as well, but just to a, a little bit smaller of an extent, a little bit less of an extent. Um, so on the right hand side, but <clears throat> other than that, um, haven't seen any quality control issues with it. Is it worth the over 200 bucks I spent with for it? I think it came out to almost 240 bucks after shipping and everything. Um, to me, it was because um, I love the brand. I love the American made. Um, I love everything that they stand for, um, that they're trying to revolutionize design. 
uh, but also keep it um, traditional to uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the, the origins of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I've been doing this a long time and, uh, and that kind of means something to me. Uh, so they're bringing something new to um, kind of uh, uh, older ideas. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna use the lot and uh, I'm gonna put it to the test to see if it, it's worth um, the money that I invested in it. For the casual jiu-jitsu guy, the, the weekend warrior, the person that's training uh, two days a week at most, I don't know that it's worth it. Um, obviously it's only been a week, so I can't say uh, if it's gonna have the long-term you know, hold up yet. But um, you know, you can get two geese for what I paid for this. Uh, two pretty good geese on Amazon. You can get you know a Sanibel gi, you can get a Hayabusa gi. Uh, both of those I have, and both of those have done really well for me. Um, you can put less mileage on them and rotate them out. <clears throat> but uh, the fact that I can come home, toss these both in the washer and then in the dryer, have them both fresh immediately, uh, or have yeah the pants and the gi fresh immediately, uh, uh, after training to go into the next session my next day. I love that, <clears throat> but again, it just doesn't feel as substantial. So um, I don't know what that means yet. We'll, we'll see if that translate in, translates into a sacrifice in long-term quality or not. So um, if I'm giving it stars out of five stars, I would definitely give this like three and a half, almost four stars. That's only after having a week of owning it. Um, knowing what I've heard from other people about the company and the brand, I think that's probably going to jump up past four stars uh, within a couple of months. But uh, right now, still a little early to say. So um, that's my review on the Path Nano Weave Origin Gi. I hope that helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please pop them into the comments and uh, I'll do my best to try to get to those. And uh, happy rolling. Uh, see you on the mats. Take care.